Hello and welcome to SQL Server Denali, always on Next Gen HDR solution. Uh, as you are with me, thanks for joining me uh, for setting up Hyper-V virtual setup to test uh, Denali features. Uh, till now, I covered up to part 5, install standalone Denali or both nodes. Before moving into the part 6, I'm going to talk a little bit about availability groups and what are they. So the Nali always on is a feature which is basically based on top of mirroring. It's uh, in, in simple words you can say it's multiple mirrors which allows you to fail over in the group of databases and also allows you to do the read, read from the mirrors and also take the backup load on the mirrors. So basically there's a lot of improvement happen in mirroring in such a way which allows it actually to overcome some of the key features provided by log shipping and uh, clustering which makes it more robust so for this a video i will talk about uh, some of the comparing the always on uh, with uh, sql server 2008 and uh, versus the performance improvement and load balancing uh, plus uh, i'll take you through a simple requirement and a possible hdr solution uh, build up on SQL Server 2008 R2 versus the Nali. And in the end, uh, we'll talk about the client failover with virtual names and how it works. We're taking some of the key characteristics and uh, see how Always On helps and or where it improved. A uh, failure detection, uh, it is uh, on with clustering and mirroring. It has is automatic failover if you look at it. Uh, it provides by clustering as well as mirroring and always on. Uh, perceived data time, uh, it's also pretty good in terms of always on, it's pretty much uh, equal and in fact I would say better than uh, the time took for database mirroring to do one by one database failover. Potential data loss, uh, this is where there is a big difference when we compare it with the mirroring and clustering storage is a possible single point of failover failure and thus you might lose all databases while in log shipping you do lose the latest transaction logs and in, in mirroring with asynchronous and synchronous it depends in synchronous you don't lose any data and in asynchronous you can't lose cars couple of seconds of transactions masking of storage failures actually no it's a shared disk uh, and in log shipping yes it has its own copy of databases on a separate set of disks so and database mirroring does provide you uh, masking as well as the always on in terms of failover uh, in clustering you do it by instance level the whole instance failover a number of databases and instance everything will fail over as it is um, lock shipping uh, each database it's again a manual step no automatic so database mirroring also does it at each database level while always on brings up the group failover which allows you group of database to do the failover if one of the database got failed out of them and that, that's a big improvement in terms of uh, how it comes pretty close to what clustering uh, provided before. A scope uh, clustering cover system and user databases, uh, log shipping and mirroring always on covers user databases and that's the only uh, difference is in clustering you don't have to worry about new users created or new databases created they automatically get failover while in lock shipping mirroring and always on you have to reconfigure every time you add a database our virtual name uh, clustering yes one per instance you have a single server virtual name which can fail over in terms of lock shipping uh, no virtual names are there you have to manually do the failover and database mirroring you have a client uh, failover partner at client level which uh, if you configure the client properly they'll automatically try to connect to the failover partner dotnet and java does support that feature um, always on uh, the one best thing here is that 
you can create multiple availability group here and for each and every available group, you can have a different virtual name which means if you have multiple applications uh, running databases on the same server you can actually club the group of databases and provide those applications their own virtual name and which does allow them for any maintenance or something to do transfer them to a different database server uh, to the, any of the partners and allow you to do a much better level of load balancing without making uh, much <coughs> a manual effort well <coughs> database mirroring does provide uh, so multi-side auto failure uh, yes we stretch land provides that lock shipping does not um, database mirroring you can configure a witness and get that achieved and always on does provide uh, the multi-side auto failover let's look some of the other key improvement and upload balancing you can achieve through these technologies uh, clustering readable secondary that's not possible lock shipping yes um, in terms of database mirroring uh, you can take the snapshots uh, uh, readable secondary and in always on it is available uh, without any constraint or restrictions connection loss uh, in log shipping yes uh, whenever you do replay the logs uh, the existing connections will be dropped in terms of database mirroring you can create the snapshot but that will keep the stale data and you have to refresh the snapshot again and again uh, in always on there is no connection loss uh, users will continue to access the read only operations on the mirror without worrying about uh, any any of the connection dropping or stale stale data uh, another important criteria is backup from secondary in, in uh, log shipping that's not allowed in database memory not allowed and this is a new feature introduced in always on which allows you to take backup from any of the secondaries you have so the you can to completely offload the work done at this point with SQL 2008 done on primary DB server to take backups transaction logs a full backup and differential backups and you can actually do it everything at a secondary mirror a deployment maintenance in, in terms of clustering it is uh, the, uh, the initial deployment is uh, time consuming and lock shipping is uh, difficult to implement at best uh, um, even though it's automatic but if you are uh, combining it with uh, uh, mirroring then it becomes manual and you have to uh, create the manual way to manage if database mirroring is failover uh, it affects the lock shipping as well uh, database mirroring again uh, medium uh, if you have witness you can do auto failover but that's again uh, usually uh, you have to configure another event to initiate the failover for some other databases always on it's uh, pretty easy uh, one of the best interface you can see to configure provides you multiple level of uh, secondaries so for most of the needs you do, would not be needing a, a separate configuration of mirroring log shipping and clustering and that that's what we'll see in the example a flexible failover policy this is something new in uh, Windows 2008 R2 and especially improved in Denali uh, a multiple level of failover can be configured to avoid uh, particularly any kind of uh, unnecessary failover or false alarms DBCC on secondary this is a new uh, feature uh, provided in always on where you can run DBCC show contage or DBCC uh, check table check DB on the target to validate the data is good patch upgrade downtime and this is something very important in terms of clustering if you are installing any service pack SQL service pack you do have to ask for a downtime and it usually there is no much option other than you know breaking the cluster and doing it separately and then adding the cluster back which is much more time consuming and risking risky uh, in terms of log uh, shipping yes it requires uh, uh, patch upgrade does require downtime it doesn't avoid the downtime part mirroring it is less you can do the failover uh, to the mirror and then do the patch upgrade and do the failback so very minimum downtime and always on does come with that 
Statistics on a reporting node. This is another new feature introduced in Always On where you can uh, uh, all the queries for reporting needs you are running, the read only queries you are running on the uh, mirror database. If there are any statistics needs to be updated, they are capped into TAMDB, uh, which means you do not have to do the statistics for the read only operation yeah. on your primary server. Uh, so that they get replicated onto the mirror. Mm. Multiple database copying. Uh, in clustering, you have only one set of database copy. In log shipping, you can configure multiple sets. And database mirroring, it allows you to have up to uh, one set of extra mirror uh, and one primary. And in always on, uh, this is where it improves uh, very much, where you can have. Uh, up to total five set of databases, one primary and four secondaries. Let's talk about available group key features uh, which are available. Uh, the features which are available in CTP1 are green. Not all features are yet available to validate. Uh, it allows you to do multi-database failover, multiple secondary, as I mentioned, max of four secondary allows you to configure each secondary asynchronous and asynchronous data uh, or support for two synchronous secondary for additional data protection. We'll see an example later on how it helps. Built-in compression and encryption of transport. Uh, that's another, uh, there's a lot of improvements in that area. Automatic, manual, and force failover. Uh, this is uh, based on cluster technology, so it doesn't need a separate witness to do that. Active secondary, the readable secondary, and on secondary, you can take the backups. Automatic application redirection using virtual name. Uh, we will talk about it later in the slide, and the configuration part is very, very simplified. Always on dashboard. Uh, it's not yet available, and it will be available in CTP2 but it's uh, pretty fantastic and you can see all your replicas in the same screen how they are showing uh, automation using powershell is another uh, big thing where uh, you can automate almost every activity of configuring uh, <coughs> always on uh, rich diagnostic infrastructure dmv puffman counter x events uh, all have been added to support always on. Uh, supports contain databases 